Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you for coming out here and joining us today um, to announce an exciting uh, and important new event that is going to be taking place here in San Francisco uh, at the Argent Hotel from February 1st to the 3rd. Um, it's a conference uh, sponsored and produced by the Rock Rose Institute, which is a nonprofit here in San Francisco um, called Facing Violence, Justice, Religion, and Conflict Resolution. And uh, so we're here to talk a little bit about this event that uh, is coming to San Francisco. And uh, I'm Michael Olmsted. I'll be your MC today and also the Executive Director of Events for Change, an organization that's uh, producing events all over the world to uh, make positive changes. And uh, that's why we're so excited and pleased to be involved with this event uh, as the um, managing uh, directors who are going to be handling the logistics for the event because this event really is critical and important and uh, as we look at all the problems that we're facing around the world right now it's clear that we can't solve any of them if we can't uh, settle our differences nonviolently. so um, anyway we're glad that you could all come out on UN Day here in UN Plaza it's very appropriate that we be in this location in fact as I was walking up on the uh, placard right behind this sign, it says, to ensure by the acceptance of principles and institution of methods that armed force shall not be used, save in the common interest, which clearly could be an uh, introduction to the theme and the ideas of this very conference. So it's uh, great to be here at this location. But I want to introduce some of the people who are going to be actually making the conference happen and who have brought it to life. Uh, before I do that, I'd like to recognize some of the partners and people who have joined us here today. First of all, um, Brent Jones and Matthew Pendergast from the Asia Foundation. Thank you for being here with us. Also, uh, the past chair of the United Religions Initiative and the executive vice chair of the San Francisco Interfaith Council, among many other things, one of the true leaders in San Francisco, San Francisco, Rita Samel. Thank you. And also, I'd like to uh, welcome Rabbi Mentz from the Congregation Temple Emmanuel for being, joining us, and Pam Merchant from the Center for Justice and Accountability, among others who I'm sure have uh, joined and who are taking part in making this conference a, a huge success. So to tell you a little bit more about the event, um, it's my pleasure to welcome the one of the founders of the Rock Rose Institute. Um, she's the former president of the San Francisco Trial Lawyers Association, uh, selected at one time by Time Magazine as one of the top ten women lawyers. I should say one of four women founders, because they won't mention that, but uh, I think that's important and significant. And uh, so please welcome Maya Ramsey. Where you got all that great information. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. We're really excited about what we're going to produce here in February. We're excited about what we're producing right now. I'm going to take just a few minutes to give you the highlights of what we've been about, a little bit about the story of how we came to this and where we intend to go with it. A couple years ago, quite frankly, we just got so we couldn't we couldn't take the violence, we couldn't take the newspaper reports, we couldn't take the pictures of the beheadings. We decided together that we needed to do more that we needed to come off the sidelines, that we needed to get bigger than what we were. And we decided that we needed to do it through the portal of justice and religion, since so much violence is being done in the names of those two things. In that vein, we knew we had to reach out to people with greater wisdom than us and begin to pool our wisdom so that we could bring that in a larger way to the world to effectuate change. We've been very, very fortunate and blessed to almost immediately have the, the generous support of incredible religious organizations who have never exactly hooked up with uh, legal organizations. And we have unbelievable partnerships. You see the list of them behind me. Uh, I can only name a few, Grace Cathedral, um, United Religions Initiative, who is here. Uh, we have multi, the Islamic Network, and of course partnering also with people in the legal communities representing justice and accountability all the way to um, peace and reconciliation. It was very important for us to bring diversity to the forum, very important for us to bring different voices so that we could be in a situation where different voices could be heard by one another, so we could be able to bridge to one another and find creative solutions that are not yet seen by us. In that vein also, we knew we had to bring youth because we bring the elder wisdom, you have to bring the youth wisdom. So we have a visionary, Deborah Goldblatt, who also um, 
put together the International Youth Project, so we're bringing youth in from five countries who will also um, tell us satellite communications with each, with each other, both for the forum and then to continue after the forum. We knew we had to bring big wisdom, so we came in with some amazing speakers, including Madeleine Albright and Ellie Wiesel, uh, so that we would have the opportunity to share these with their wisdom with a larger group. And then, of course, we didn't want to stop there. We wanted to create something that would really create and demonstrate the possibility and the power of dialogue. And that, in its essence,